<laughs> How the devil are you? Who are you, Yoda? <laughs> so, um, a few years ago, I did a video on a, uh, how to disable 5 gigahertz so you could connect your smart devices to 2.4 gigahertz. And I did that on a talk talk router. Well, I've had some few, a few comments uh, in the comment section on that saying they have different routers so they're not able to, you know, use my format. So I thought I'd, you know, attempt to do some other routers or routers in America, in the US. Routers. Okay. Um, I thought I'd do some uh, more videos on them to see if I can show or explain how to disable or pause five gigahertz so you can um, connect your smart devices. So I had a recent comment on the Eero um, Wi-Fi mesh on that uh, routers, routers, <laughs> okay. Uh, so I thought I'd do that one first. So this is how you temporarily hide the five gigahertz band on your Eero network. So if you're having trouble setting up 2.4 gigahertz only device, you can hide the five gigahertz temporarily through the Eero app. And once you hide the five gigahertz band, um, that'll ensure all your devices will connect to 2.4 gigahertz and allow you a smooth setup then. So the first thing you need to do is log in. So you just log in here, you can either use your email, telephone number, or sign in with Amazon. Yours might be a little bit different to this, but you just log in, okay? And you go to the next screen. And on the next screen, you'll see troubleshooting towards the bottom, just here, and click on that. Come to this screen now, and there at the top, there you see my device won't connect. Click on that, or tap on it, I should say. And then it'll take you to this screen here, and it'll say my device is only 2.4 gigahertz only. And it says if you're experiencing trouble while connecting a personal device, you might limit your wireless bands used by your network. By default, Eero networks are dual band, blah, blah, blah. However, some devices require 2.4 gigahertz only. Uh, so let's temporarily restrict your network and connect only those devices. So you temporarily pause, you click this here, or tap that there. Now, this will pause the five gigahertz for around about 10 to 15 minutes. So you've got, you've got about 10 to 15 minutes before it'll come back on again. So you can go off, connect your smart devices. You don't have to do anything because it's only temporarily pausing it. And don't worry too much about some of your devices that were originally connected to five gigahertz. They will eventually connect to it. Give it time, they will all connect eventually. It may take a bit of time afterwards, but you shouldn't have any problem. They should, they should all connect. So that's how you do that on the Eros to temporarily pause five gigahertz uh, so you can connect your smart devices to 2.4 gigahertz. I hope that's helped. If you liked the video, give it a like. Don't forget, subscribe, come on, sort it out, and I'll catch you in the next video.